We've done a couple of things on the channel with Magica Voxel already uh, in the past, um, but we've never done anything with Unreal, and uh, I, I saw a really good opportunity, because I didn't see a lot of tutorials on it, of how to import things from Magica Voxel into Unreal Engine. Hey guys, welcome back to us by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magica Voxel once again, taking a look at how to import some stuff, like I just said. Um, I don't know a lot about Unreal Engine, I've been using it lately. Um, and it's really, really great. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that uh, that is pretty crazy. But uh, I did figure this out, and I wanted to share it because, um, like I said, I didn't see many tutorials. So what I want to do here is I want to open up just um, any random thing here. I open up this castle, uh, which is a default file in um, in Magic of Voxel, and I'll export this as an OBJ, and uh, I'll just export this to um, the desktop, and I'll just call it Castle. Why not? I'll call it Castle, and um, that's that. So I'm gonna head on over to Unreal really quickly, and um, I have a third person scene here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new folder, just because I like to keep things uh, organized. I'm going to call this uh, Voxel, right? And then uh, in the Voxel folder, wherever you're at, you can just hit import there and uh, find wherever you put your uh, your object. And as you can see, we have a PNG, which is actually the palette, and we have the OBJ file, which is the file we just exported. So um, I'm going to double click the OBJ, make sure this is on all uh, files, by the way. I'm going to double click the OBJ, and um, it'll open up this box here. And um, if you're just, if you're just importing a regular mesh, which is uh, what this video is for, of course, if you're just importing a regular mesh, you don't have to really do anything uh, at this at this stage right here. Um, but of course, if you had a if you have a skeleton like a uh, a rig, you of course click uh, skeleton mesh. But we don't have that for just this model. Um, and that would be that. And we're gonna hit import, and that is all we need to do. This is gonna come up. Um, and we're, what we're going to do is, as you see, we have three new things down here. And what this has done is, is created our castle, its texture, and its material. This is, this is pretty much just the palette that looks really strange because it's pulling from that one color, but it uh, is fine. So we're just going to go ahead and drag this uh, castle into the scene. It's pretty small there, and you need to rotate it a little bit. But you can see we have our uh, our model in the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, R to scale this up. I'm just going to scale that up a little bit, something like that. And we'll hit... Um, We'll hit E to rotate that, and we'll just rotate that, just something like that, 90 degrees. And now if we play our game, you can see that we actually have our castle in the game, which is super, super awesome. We just completely did that. It was totally easy to um, just get that all started up, and we can jump on top of it and everything else. Uh, if we did some stuff with the uh, collision boundaries, we can actually go inside of there, which would be really cool. But uh, that is how you import uh, models from Magic of Voxel into Unreal Engine really, really quickly, really, really easily. Um, so I hope this, guys, I hope this helped you out. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.